there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Once again, it is Sovereign Saturday. Sovereign men stay consistent, consistent. I'm gonna tell you what, going through life, the people who win are consistent. Now you on the path to being a sovereign man, having some control over your life. How are you gonna have that control and you jumping all over the place? How are you going to have that control, but you're not consistent in your actions or your behavior? How are you going to do it? You got to be consistent. You got to be consistent in your work. Because let's talk about that for a second. What do you do? What, why are you working? One is your purpose, or it should be your purpose. But at the very minimum, you're doing it to get money. You got to be consistent to stay on that job. If you're getting money and you need money to be sovereign, unless you can find some place where you can just live out and you don't have to pay any bills or anything. But even then, it's probably somebody else's land anyway. They can take you off as soon as they want to put a development on it. So you still, you're going to need that money. But in order to get money, you have to be consistent. Or even to get to that point to make money, you got to be consistent. You either got to get that education, that certification, that training, and you got to be, you got to stay with it. You got to stay with it. When I talk about body gain, you got to be consistent going to the gym. You can't just like, you know, lift for three days and then take off for two weeks and then lift for one day and take off for another four days. That's not going to work. No, you got to go in the gym every single day. And if you're talking about increasing your knowledge, increasing your knowledge, your intelligence, you got to be consistent about studying, about researching, about reading. I don't care what it is in life. If you want to develop a certain skill in a certain area, mastery is developed through consistency. Through consistency. I, re I remember one time uh, there was a saying about a concert pianist. That concert pianist had to work years just to give that great 15 minute performance uh, uh, on stage or however long it was, whatever. They have to work. You have to practice. If you look at great sports stars, they stay consistent. They consistently practice. They consistently work. I don't care what it is in life. As a man, you got to stay consistent. Whatever it is you want to do. You can't just give up at the first thing or you can't be jumping around. One of the first worst things in life is when a man is just jumping from place to place. No idea what he wants to do. No purpose. Look, Call me sexist, but that's, that's something for women. Let them, they're the butterflies. They're very beautiful at it. Let them do it. Men are like hawks. We just go straight ahead. We know where we're going, boom. You know? And part of doing all of that, part of being straight ahead is staying consistent. You got to stay consistent. You got to stay consistent and be consistent on your path just to be, even become a sovereign man. Like I said, you might have to get that certification, so you have to consistently learn. If you're in business, you got your business has to stay consistent so you can get some money. I don't care what it is. And then once you get to that point, you got to consistently pay those bills and keep everything up unless you want to lose that place. You know, you're more, if you're paying your mortgage, you can't just pay it one month and then the next month say, no, nah, I don't feel like paying it. And then a the month after that, oh, I just give them a little bit. They'll have you in foreclosure with that first missed payment anyway. But it's, it's with everything. You know, if you don't want bill collectors chasing you and everything, you got to consistently pay your bills. And I'm going to tell you what. One thing about consistency is discipline. It is discipline. I've talked about discipline several times. And not just discipline with your sex organ. But just discipline, period. Because it keeps you going. It keeps you going. When you don't feel like it, that discipline get you to a certain point when you have those days when you feel like, man, I don't feel like doing this. That discipline gets you to that place. It gets you through the problems. In fact, I have a saying about discipline, but I'm not going to share it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna have to, I actually have to trademark it first. And that's, all, that's the only clue I'll give you. But part of discipline is just being consistent, 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 you know? I've talked about this on my business channel, consistency. You know, if you're in business, you got your business got to be consistent. If you got to give the same service. You got to open at the same time. You got to treat your customers a certain way. It can't be all over the place. You're not going to make a lot of money. Would you do business with somebody who's being all over the place? Or are you going to do business with somebody who you know 
You pay them, they're going to come do the job. Boom. Well, as a man, you have to be that. You have to be that. Indeed, uh, despite how women could like be butterflying all over the place, they prefer a rock of consistent man. Whatever your stand is, that's it. And they don't have to like it or not, but they need to at least respect it. So even there, consistency. And you got to stay consistent. You got to stay consistent. You can't be changed. Like whatever you do, whatever path you on, this ain't saying you might be enlightened and change your path or your philosophy, even your religion. But only do so when you sure. Don't be jumping all over the place. Don't be looking for ideology here or there. Don't change your behavior every other month. That's not what it means to be a man. Because even when, like I said, even when you change something, it's after you did the research, the study, and then you just say, you know what, this is the better path for me. But you still, even there, you got to be consistent. Consistent. I'm a, hey, you got to be that. You got to be that. And you got to let people know where you stand consistently. And like I said, if you ever have to change it, well, there's no problem in that. That means it's growth. But even there, you got to still stay consistent. You got to be consistent about who you are as a man, as a sovereign man, especially a man who wants to control his life. You can't control your life if you're jumping all over the place, because I'm going to tell you why. If you're all over the place flaking all of this stuff, that means forces outside of you have total control over you. And you just following the trends. That means you're a follower, not a leader. A leader sets the path and stays on it. And if they change it, only because it's their will, not, not following anybody else. And it's only because they decided they know what they're going to do. That's what it means to be a man. So that's the thing. That's the thing. Stay consistent, y'all. Stay consistent. And you know what? No, you, you're not going to get that reward right away. You are not going to get that reward right away. But that's okay. The consistent, the consistent man wins. It's not at first. Not at first. But will win because you start winning. You develop that consistent attitude, that consistent discipline within yourself, and then you start winning. It's just that simple. All right? So I want all y'all to really stay consistent on your path to becoming a sovereign man. As always, keep rising, and I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.